Hello and welcome to this lesson for Key Stage 3. I'm going to be looking at a question such as this. So stay tuned. This question is geared towards the students who are in the higher sets. But of course, I want those students in the middle sets to be able to progress onto questions like this too. So if you're a student in the higher set, pause the video, copy this down and do it yourself. And if you're a student who are in the middle sets, then just continue watching with me and just make good notes. So what do we have? We have a compound shape here. We're given some of the lengths and we are told that the area is 80 centimeters and we've been told to find this side X. We also don't know what these lengths are. So where do we begin? How do we find X? Since we are going to be finding the area for this shape, we don't need to uh, bother too much with the missing lengths. Now there is something that you um, need to be aware of here and that is the breaking up of this shape. And I just want to show you what I mean by this. Um, if you break the shape up like this, because you've got an option of breaking the shape up here or breaking it this way. So you've got a rectangle here and this little rectangle there. Or you can break it up the way I've shown you here. Now the issue becomes this, um, that if you break it up in this way, like I have here and here you have A and B, we have this situation where this is A and this is B, and then we have 10 centimeters there, and we have an X there, so that's going to be 10X to find this area, no problem. And this one would be 5, and we don't have a length for just this. We don't have a length for just that, because we know that this is 10, but if we take away 10 minus the X, uh, we have to have something like this, 10 minus six. Now this is fine, you can actually still continue to calculate this, but an easier way of doing it would be to actually split it up this way. Because now you can have A and B, and you can have shape A here, so that's five centimeters and 10 centimeters here, and shape B would be x. Now this length here is the same as this length here, and this length would be 5 plus something to give 10, and we know that 5 plus 5 gives us 10, so therefore this would be 5 centimeters. Now we know that the area of that plus the area of that is equal to 80 centimeters, so therefore we can write this here 80 centimeters squared. So now what we can do is do 10 times 5 to find the area of A, so 10 times 5 equals 50 centimeters squared and this one would be 5 times x we don't know what that is yet so we can just write 5 times x which is 5x and we know that this is equal to 80 80 centimeters squared now what we can do is write down this equation separately so we have 50 plus 5x is equal to 80 and therefore it now becomes a linear equation which we can solve. So we take the 50 over to this side to give us 5x is equal to 30 and then we do 30 divided by 5 which is 6 centimeters. So the length x is 6 centimeters. If you need uh, help on this uh, look in the playlist under algebra and you should find a video for solving linear equations.